Hi class, teacher Devani here. Hope you're all doing well. Thanks for joining me. Um, so I picked out a book that I thought was really cute and kind of matches the weather outside. It's getting a little colder. So I found a book about the snow. This is called The Mitten. It's a story about a little boy named Nicky. Um, he wants his grandma to sew him some mittens. His baba, which is his grandma's name, knits him a pair of mittens, but she tells him not to lose them. Um, when Nicky goes out in the snow, he does lose one. And uh, he doesn't realize that he's lost it. So let's, what, let's find out what happens with the mitten in the story. And if Nicky finds his mitten and gets it back. This is the mitten by Jen Brett. Once there was a boy named Nicky who wanted his new mitten made from wool as white as snow. Wool is kind of like this sweater. It's a soft kind of cotton material. First, his grandmother, Baba, did not want to knit white mittens. If you drop one in the snow, she warned, you'll never find it. Yeah, that would be hard to see a white mitten in the white snow. But Nikki wanted snow white mittens, and finally, Baba made them. Look, he's carrying the wool yarn to her to knit him some mittens. After she finished, she said, when you come home, first I will look to see if you are safe and sound, but then I will look to see if you still have your snow white mittens. She seems really concerned, really worried about the mittens. So off Nikki went, and it wasn't long until on his new, or one of his new mittens dropped into the snow and was left behind. Uh-oh, he left, and sure enough, he dropped his mitten while he was playing. I wonder if he knows he dropped it yet. A mole, tired from tunneling along, discovered the mitten and burrowed inside. It was cozy and warm and just the right size, so he decided to stay. Do you see the mole? He went in the mitten. The little boy's still playing, still walking along. A snowshoe rabbit came hopping by. He stopped for a moment to admire his winter coat. It was then that he saw the mitten and he wiggled in feet first. <laughs> the mole didn't think there was room for both of them. But when he saw the rabbit, big kickers, he moved over. Oh, the animals are getting bigger and bigger and they're squeezing into that mitten. Next, a hedgehog came snuffling along. Having spent the day looking under wet leaves for things to eat, he decided to move into the mitten and warm himself. The mole and the rabbit were bumped and jostled, but not being ones to argue with someone covered with prickles, they made room. Oh my gosh, if I saw a hedgehog try to wriggle in with me with all those prickly spikes, I think I'd be a little nervous too. There's a lot in there now. They're really stretching out that mitten. As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, Big Owl, attracted by the commotion, swooped down. When he decided to move in also, the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog grumbled. But when they saw the owl's glinty talons, they quickly let him in. Can you see those talons? <laughs> Where's he gonna fit in that mitten? Up through the snow appeared a badger. He eyed the mitten and began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl were not pleased. There was no room left. But when they saw his diggers, they gave him 
the thumbs up. Ooh, do you think the fox is gonna go in there next? It started snowing, but the animals were snug in the mitten. A waft of warm steam rose in the air, and a fox trotting by stopped to investigate. He stopped to check it out. Just the sight of the cozy mitten made him feel drowsy. Oh, that must have made him feel tired when it's warm and cozy, it kind of makes you tired and drowsy. The fox poked his muzzle in when the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl, and the badger saw his shiny teeth. They gave the fox lots of room. That mint sure does look warm and cozy. Whoa, the animals are definitely getting bigger. A great bear lumbered by. He spied the mitten all plumped up. Not being one to be left out in the cold, he began to nose his way in. The animals were packed in as tightly as could be. But what animal will argue with a bear? The bit mitten swelled and stretched. It was pulled and bulged, it bulged big lumpy. Look at that bulging heap right there. It bulged to many times its size. But Baba's good mitten or knitting held fast. She knitted it so well that it could handle all of them. Along came a meadow mouse, no bigger than an acorn. Oh, that's really small. She wriggled into the one space left and made herself comfortable on top of the great bear's nose. Can you see her squeezed right there in the great bear's nose? That silly mouse found room for her. The bear, tickled by the mouse's whiskers, gave an enormous sneeze. Ah! 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 Ch choo! The force of the sneeze shot the mitten up into the sky and scattered the animals in all directions. Ooh, that is a big sneeze. On his way home, Nikki saw a white shape in the distance. It was the lost mitten silhouetted against the blue sky. You see it? You can see it against the blue sky. As he ran to catch the snow white mitten, he saw Baba's face in the window. First, she looked to see if he was safe and sound. He looks safe. He doesn't look like he got harmed by anything. And then she saw that he still had his new mittens. Lucky him, he found his mitten before he got home. Look what happened to it though. It's a little stretched out. See, one is small and one is big. <laughs> a lot of animals squeezed into that mitten. First, it was the mole that squeezed in the mitten. Second, it was the snowshoe rabbit. Third was the hedgehog. Fourth, do you remember what was fourth? It was the owl. Do you remember the fifth animal that went into the mitten? They get bigger and bigger. It was a badger. Sixth, the sixth animal was a fox. The seventh animal was a very large bear. Do you remember the very last animal? It tickled the bear's nose. It was as small as an acorn. The eighth animal was a mouse. Well, I hope you enjoyed the book. Thanks for visiting with me. See you later.